Just overall, how's the team feeling after uh, the tough one tonight? Yeah, I think we are all super disappointed. I think that we know that we should have put that game away. We also know that we need to stay focused for 90 plus minutes. That's what this game is about, especially with VAR, people go down. And right now we're not doing that. And I think the team needs to figure it out. I think we will figure it out. Um, we're still hopeful, you know, we, we believe in one another, but we understand that we need to be better. This is, a, this is just the beginning of the season, so I, I think that we're all excited to keep growing, but definitely super disappointed with tonight's result. Awesome. Talking about growth, I guess, just for you personally, after uh, last year, missing all of last year, being able to come in, start, and play these three games, how, how important is it for you just to be able to, to, to get out there and play these games and actually learn professional experience uh, versus last year being just at, able to train and uh, not being able to see the field? Yeah, um, I mean, this this year's super important. I, I think that everything happens for a reason. And last year, I couldn't play. And, you know, it was kind of a blessing in disguise. I got to be in this environment. I got to learn from the best players in the world. I'm still learning from the best players in the world. Um, everything for me is about growing and, and becoming the ideal player that I want to be. And getting this experience right now is, is so vital to that. Um, but I would not be able to do it without my teammates. They have taught me so much and in, in so little so far. So um, I'm, I'm excited to, to keep growing and, and to keep moving forward with this team. Luis? Can you talk a little bit about the discussion that happened between uh, you guys and Gotham and the official, especially during the VAR review? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, all of us <laughs> I think all of us were pretty shocked. Um, you know, we're, we're new to VAR and while it's great for some things, it's not so great when you're on the opposite end of it. I think that our discussion was, we're going to be fine. If it's taking this long to come up with the decision, it must not have been clear enough. And then, uh, when the referee made that decision, I think, I think we all were just like, all right, here we go again. So not much, not much discussion. I think we were all pretty confident that it wasn't going to be a PK, but sometimes it doesn't go your way. Back a row to Sean. Now that you've had three games into the season, can you talk about um, the comfort you have playing next to Emily? And especially since you guys are so young, how you feel um, that you guys have uh, adapted to this level? Yeah, I think... You know, I think that's it's a super unique situation. I don't I don't know many teams in the NWL who have two rookies. I mean, not that I'm a, a rookie, a second year player who didn't see much of the field, plus a rookie uh, playing next to one another. You know, me and M played against one another. We were both um, in the ACC together. I think we both have an understanding of one each other's games, and I think we're also trying to create a strong partnership. I think we both complement each other well. I think we both bring different strengths. Um, and I think right now, you know, three games in, we're, we're still trying to figure it out, but I, I see us going um, in the right direction. Awesome. Just now that you've gotten games in NWSL versus last year, just being able to watch and kind of learn from from seeing now by doing, what's been the biggest kind of surprise for you, uh, just in in NWSL games and the way that kind of flow? Um, the speed of play, you know, the, the caliber of players you're playing against, you know, watching watching so many games, people don't look as fast, people don't look as sharp, people don't look as strong, and and then you're there and. You know, you, you have a couple seconds to think. You have a couple seconds to make decisions. And I think that's been a big adjustment. I, I don't think that anyone can, you know, be ready for that by just watching. I think you have to be in that moment. Um, so it's, it, I mean, seriously, it has been an honor. It has been a dream. And I'm excited to keep growing on this. Back to Luis. As the team shifts to the Challenge Cup, um, how do you feel the team will respond to a different type of game setting? I mean, every every game for us is is a game to get better and and to win. I think that it being Challenge Cup, I think we can, you know, express ourselves. I think 
we want to win everything possible. So I don't, I don't think we're taking Challenge Cup lightly. Challenge Cup is another game, another trophy to win. Um, and I think with us and how young we are, we need to take every single game extremely seriously and grow on it. So our game on Wednesday against NC Courage is another game that's four three points.